Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are super excited to bring you one of my favorite properties in all the homes in Crystal Cove. A couple reasons you're gonna see is the privacy, the lot. If you pan out over here, Steve, you're gonna see it's got your own private gated driveway. A lot of times what differentiates a track home to a custom home or a home with a really big spectacular lot is its own gated driveway. What does that do for you? It really creates additional parking on the street, from the street, excuse me, and it gives you a sense of privacy you're not gonna get on a normal property. Let me give you the specs on rundown this one on three moon shell. It is four bedrooms, you've got an office, gym, movie theater, spectacular, jaw-dropping, beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean, and you've got really only maybe one rooftop, a little bit in your eye line, and it's just super private, super serene, gives you a sense of tranquility. You guys kind of be my guest as we walk through it. You get this super long driveway. It's a split two-car garage. A lot of people feel like 6,300 square feet is plenty of space. The lot, by the way, is almost it's over half an acre, it's over 22,000 square feet. That's what's really special about this particular property. It's been renovated. A lot of people might want some additional square footage. You can easily convert one of these two garages to additional, like either bedroom and bathroom and extend out the, uh, the garage over to the carport there. Most homes don't have their own private carport and a gated driveway, this one does. So you've got a lot of options. Come on through, let's uh, give you a quick tour. This might seem like something that is insignificant, but this private staircase takes you up to the second floor. It literally lives like almost a wing for the residents above. You've got two bedrooms, a TV media room, a third floor office or gym with two bedrooms on suite. You know, the people that live here now, the little bit older children, they come up here, they reside in the property, the downstairs owners, they don't ever see them unless they come down to the kitchen or use the backyard pool. So this is a great little feature on this property. There's three ways to get upstairs, three total staircases. While we're here, we've got another private guest suite downstairs. So what you've got really is you've got two guest suites upstairs. You've got a third guest suite down below and you've got the primary suite down below. This is a rare main floor primary suite. It's really spacious and it gives you great views. Come on through, what kind of, you've got this beautiful entry foyer. This is one of those two car garage access points. Again, if you didn't want to use the outside staircase, you pop right in, you've got access to those two bedrooms, uh, media room, and obviously the third floor gym or office. You got your guest powder down here. And this is another great feature. Even though, even though this space doesn't count as living space, it really lets you live in the space. And what I mean by that is it just creates a sense of outdoor kind of courtyard feel without even having to leave the property or enter the backyard. In case it ever gets a little bit windy, you kind of close those doors, you hang out out here, you're getting the beautiful sunshine, really can't complain. This space, you've got this elegant dining space, an outdoor fireplace. Look at how far your common wall is between you and the neighbor. There's no way you're ever gonna say there's a lot that's probably more private than this one. That's one of my favorite things about it. Come on through. This used to be a secondary prep kitchen. A lot of people thought it was a waste of space. It was really oversized. This is now your movie theater. It's set for seven people. Uh, it could easily have a couple um, ottomans or cushions, kind of bean bags, if you will, and you can house more people. It's great because it's right off the kitchen, great room. This floor plan eliminates a living room. You can see here, you've got a double seating area, plenty of space between both courtyard and backyard. That's what's so great about this one. And as we kind of walk through here, it's a little bit hazed out today, of course, whenever we're filming, right, Steve? Um, so you, you are looking at unobstructed ocean view, no rooftops until you get all the way to the back of the property line. You've got a covered overhang space with a covered loggia lit up, so double outdoor spaces. A lot of people pull the property line out to here. Um, sometimes you leave it as an outdoor kind of alfresco dining area. Some people will pull those French doors out, uh, property on Shore Rock that just recently sold, pulled it out to here and use the French doors so you kind of picked up this space. A lot of options in this property. You could live in it the way it is, or you could easily add on square footage. That's what's so great about it. And you've got so much backyard space, you're not gonna be you know, yearning for any outdoor space. Steve, while we're outside, we can kind of just cut through one of the multitude of French doors right into the kitchen. Look at how much, look at how much space you've got here. Obviously, you've got a eight-person breakfast table. That's pretty unique. 
You've got a 12 foot island. There's only four bar stools here, but you could easily fit six. That means 14 people can sit in your kitchen without bringing another chair. And I think that's pretty special. Uh, beautiful floating shelves. I love the hood here. Chef grade appliances, pantry over there, wine fridge, all the kind of standard expected Sub-Zero appliance package along with the Wolf Range. Come on out here. The gourmet cooking doesn't stop inside. You bring it outside. You've got a Viking barbecue. You've got two cooktops, not just one. Um, you've got a dishwasher and a fridge, outdoor TV, and this great bar that you could easily put another 10 bar stools. And I, again, I'm gonna repeat that. 10 bar stools could easily go here. Um, and you've still got this great saltwater pool. It definitely gives you that kind of Hawaii vibe. Um, not everybody loves to sit on a plane for six hours from California. You can literally plunge in your pool over here, enjoy beautiful sunsets. And if you want to scratch that itch, go take the tunnel and get right to you know Crystal Cove State Park, go to the beach and come back up. A lot of people use a golf cart in Crystal Cove and it's one of the reasons why everybody loves living here. So look at this privacy. I mean, no neighbor is visible to the left side or the uh, south side of the property. If you kind of pan out, you've got beautiful ocean view. And really besides maybe the edge of another property, you don't see any other home. And that's what's so great about this house. I mean, when we brought this property, about to bring it on, last time we sold it to these current owners, it never even made the market. We showed it a couple times, it went right into escrow. We did, literally didn't have a chance to put it on the MLS because it's such a unique special lot. Kind of go through here, we're gonna go back and show you this wing over here and show you the primary suite. I love the little touches with like the TV inlets, the custom AC registers. It's just got such an airiness to it. You really don't feel like you're confined to any space. You really can go to the courtyard, you can go to the kitchen, your great room, outdoor spaces. It's really just a nice, comfortable place to be. You have a little bit of a, what we call mini foyer in your primary suite. If you come on through over here, you got an oversized primary suite. You've got obviously the king bed. Um, you've got two nightstands with plenty of room for seating. They like to have a little mini home office. There is an upstairs office. They like to have this here to enjoy the views. Believe it or not, the view from the office is even better, but you've got to climb up two staircases, which some people like for privacy or to make it a home gym. You got these beautiful beams, nice transitional finishes with the lighter wall colors. This is a tub that, believe it or not, when you sit down in it, you're gonna be able to see the ocean. That's a pretty cool feature. Hopefully, Steve, can, you can cut into some of that B-roll to show the view. You have a chandelier over your tub here with a, another tower kind of above it. That's pretty unique. You got a dual passageway um, shower, and I love the split map, you know, primary suite closets and you've got two generous sized closets and some people have brought the doors out to here and actually made it just one big mega closet. Again, so many options on this property. You could live in it the way it is or add on, you know, expand if you need a little bit more space with ease without breaking the building envelope. We're gonna kind of take you through the courtyard. One of the three staircases over here that I mentioned very tropical vibe. I literally feel like I need a Mai Tai or something. It's so relaxing over here. This beautiful outdoor courtyard space. I could see some market lights strung up. Again, a lot of options, design elements you could leave or bring in. Two car garage, a utility closet in your laundry room over there. I love the wood floors here. They're warm, rustic, but still updated. Now this is a really cool feature. You wanna kind of wind down at the end of the day, or maybe the kiddos wanna have a little bit of their privacy. This is a great adult kid space. It's a good kid space. It's good for the family or anybody to come up and enjoy. You've got beautiful TV room and come on outside. This is another favorite outdoor space of mine, simply because You got ocean view. And you can see all the way to the perimeter of your property. It really does feel like an estate. It feels like you've got grounds. It doesn't feel like you're in a claustrophobic little lot that you've got a you know, great view, but maybe not a lot of elbow space. And then you've got an outdoor fireplace, seating area, 
I've seen some people enclose this space as well, which is another kind of flexible option in this particular property. And that staircase goes back down to the courtyard. If you're wondering what this door leads you to, this is that outdoor staircase that when we walked in the property, I showed you guys, this is a great easy access in and out. Or if you're like me, a little bit paranoid about your kids, you're probably gonna lock this door. <laughs> Come on up to the third level. This is that upstairs flex space that they're using for an office, obviously. You've got, I think, almost four-sided view here. I don't know if you agree with me, Steve. You've got ocean view out over here above your roof line. You've got more ocean over there, kind of southwest exposure. You've got beautiful landscaping and other homes you're looking at back there. And you know what you're not seeing? You're not seeing a lot of wi neighbor's windows looking into your property. So the privacy, again, just continues all the way through this house. So far we've seen the primary suite. We're gonna check out the two guest suites up here. The house has got some nice control four options. So that means you've got great home animation. Great guest suite with another set of French doors that looks out to your courtyard. If you feel like kind of getting a view, you could pop out over here and say, wow, there's a nice little yacht cruising in the harbor. Steve, if you want to get that for me. It looks hazy, but hopefully you got it. Every bedroom in this property, all four guest suites, and we're including the primary, have their own bathrooms and closets, which is great. Nobody's got a share. No Jack and Jill situation here. This is definitely the best guest suite because it's got a beautiful view and so many windows. You got six windows, six picture windows with the nice hardware that opens and closes. En suite with your own bathroom, nice spacious walk-in closet. And listen, you can't hear a peep in this property. No road noise, no neighbors kind of complaining out loud, music, whatever. It's just super tranquil. That's what you're gonna get. If you guys get a chance to see this one in person, it'll probably sell very quickly. It's so tranquil, it's so private, it's so quiet. So this is Three Moonshell. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Message us, hit us up if you have any questions. Michael and I will be able to answer any questions you have.